everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making a remake of Lavender Mint. I have not made it in a long time. I thought I would maybe do a little bit of piping on the top, similar to what I did for Peach Bellini, which was kind of like a braid. Um, I'm going to change it up just a little bit. But I have Lauren Green from Mad Oils. I think I'm going to mix a tiny bit of um, a neon green um, to it just to get the color a little brighter. I have a couple different purples. This is, I think, Harold's Purple Crayon from Mad Oils. And I have some Ultramarine Lavender Pigment from Brambleberry, which really this should be pre-mixed in some oil before you use it. But I don't have a little mixer. I keep saying it in all my videos. I need to order a new little mixer. So I'm just going to have to blend that one in really well. And... Um, my base is either going to be white or I can't decide. I think it'll be white. And that's it. So let's get started.
put a couple of soaps. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lavender mint. And I was really unsure about these little flowers I put on the top. That wasn't my original plan. But I just kind of did one and I was like, oh, I'll just do a few more of these. So some bars will have some, some bars won't. That one will probably be a sample because it's a little wonky. I like the bottom with the two-tone purple. It's kind of pretty. I never really have a plan when I pour. Most of the time I have no clue. I just know the colors and have an idea for the top, usually, sometimes. And I just do what comes to mind, and I find that it turns out better when I do that rather than when I try to plan it for some reason. Whoops. I didn't want to do a swirl with this one because I feel like I always do a swirl when I make the lavender mint because I, this is popular and I make it often. So I wanted to do something different. And I'm really loving doing the braided top. I think it's really fun and I think it's something that other people can try. Um, it's not that hard to do but it leaves a really nice effect. You can see the braid on the top. So it would have been pretty with just that and no flowers or anything but I just added them because I don't know I like to pipe flowers. I'm trying to get these video soaps cut videos done. I have to go pick up the girls. Um, they're at their dad's. And we have to go birthday shopping for Mark. I think we do a lot of fishing out back here in the pond. And we really don't have a tackle box. He uses this little uh, tiny compartment thing. Who knows where it even came from. And there's like nothing much in there. We have hooks and weights. And one of our poles just broke, so I think we're going to go to Gander Mountain, which um, they, they built a Gander Mountain here maybe a year ago, and it's already going out of business. But I, I, when, it was, when they were building it, I thought, why are they doing a Gander Mountain here? I mean, it's a beach area. It's not really, and I know they have a lot of hunting stuff, and it's kind of strange, but... All right, so I have lots of samples. I'll go ahead and cut this next uh, loaf off camera. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all on my next video.